teacher here at Iroquois Elementary and one of the great things that I've noticed with our students is they come into school in the mornings and they're like, oh, it's Wednesday, the artists are here. And some of the kids who don't normally have something to do at Rick, they, they flock to these games and it's been so exciting to see them talking about them and hearing all about it and everything. So we are so grateful for the artists. You could say I might have created that game from a long time. Maybe like the boss of that like town or country that they're in invented it and then it just passed down. It was really interesting having both ladies in our class. The kids were very excited for both of them. They were very different projects. The pinatas for Esther from Mexico were very lively and the kids were out of their seats and excited and loud. Um, and then when Esther from Korea came in, we were doing very slow painting, very quiet painting. So it was interesting that they had the um, higher level energy and then the lower level energy, the more meditative um, in the art projects. They also enjoyed having both ladies tell a little bit about their countries and the different ways that they do things. Um, piñatas very often we see as birthdays, but in, in uh, Mexico they see it is a Christmas thing. So they loved hearing that and hearing what it represents. They also loved Asian watercolor is so very different from American art and from the way I teach that having that whole different experience was really interesting for the students as well. <laughs> grateful that we could expose the children to those cultures that are right here in our backyard that that we us as a school and as a community don't even realize and to show them that that is something that we can take advantage of in our own community were absolutely enamored with the music, the art, the games that they learned, but also the stories that they learned about the artists and when they were growing up and how they, their experiences going to school, their experiences with being forced out of their homes um, and having to adapt to an entirely new culture. And we're just so grateful that we were able to bring that in. It was just, it was like a magical experience for them. When did you go in the lane? 